What's happening, fam? LA All Movement Still Moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. Um, PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thank you for supporting. But this video, though, this video is entitled The Benefits of Being Busy or Staying Busy. Um, a lot of times, people, you know, they say the devil's, the, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. And our society has this perception of, of, of a leisurely, luxury-filled lifestyle, which basically means you're just doing nothing, playing around with your life. But when you see it play out with reality with people, a lot of times that ends bad because they have so much time on their hands that they get into stuff out of boredom that's unnecessary or out of thrill-seeking or being an adrenaline junkie to make them feel like they're living. <clears throat> and this, and so being busy, there's a benefit to it. Um, because if you, if you stay busy, for one, a body that's in motion stays in motion. Normally busy people are either are healthier or at least look more fit than people who aren't busy because they're, they're moving, you know, uh, when whatever way, in whatever capacity they're moving, normally busy people stay are alive longer. Now, I'm just talking about busy. I'm, like some people are busy and they're stressed, and the stress is killing them. But I just mean busy as just you know, to a degree, you can be somebody who's a workaholic, but just not necessarily. They work, but they're not a workaholic. They have other interests because. Some of the most, um, like I said, successful people have something, their business became something that they actually love and enjoy and something that they live for. That's why they say the, the, the ideal is to make your passion a business because, you know, you, you get up energized to do it every day. So because you're energized to do it every day, you know, you're busy every day. You have something to work towards every day. You have a plan. And... Uh, you have it gives you energy. Like people who who aren't who don't have any kind of passion are really aren't really that energetic. They really like everything is blah, you know. Until they find whatever passion it is. The problem is how much time has passed. You know, hopefully not too much. But one of the benefits of being busy is, like I said, you're healthier and you have something to get up. In the morning for every day. Um, another benefit of being busy is you wind up becoming smarter. Because when you're always doing stuff, you start you start trying to figure out how to maximize your time. So you start learning how to use everything around you to get everything that you want to get done. And um, at the same time, Either add things that may be more personal or, or you know, uh, work hard, play hard type of thing. Or you, you maximize everything so you can carve out time for the things in life that you enjoy. Like, you, you, when, when you're staying busy, you feel like you need to earn, you're going to earn your peace. You're going to earn your vacation. You're going to earn your leisure, whatever. That's one of the benefits of staying busy. But, like, I'm not going to front. Like, you can get so busy to the point where you forget to smell the roses. That is, that can happen. And it happens to a lot of people. I ain't going to lie. I'm one of them people. Like, I don't, I've said it for a long time. I'm a minimalist. I don't need much, really. And I don't even think about it. But I know I'm missing out on things because of that. The thing about that is, the, uh, there's still benefits to it because you know if you're busy you don't get accustomed to leisure personally I think leisure and luxury can be a crutch I've seen it happen too many times where people get accustomed to to, to uh, leisure or, or and get entitled or, or get accustomed to luxury and they can't scale it back and what winds up happening is, you know, you limit 
the amount of work you can do because it has to be a certain way or a certain place. It has to be a certain ambiance. You're not flexible enough to work in, in any circumstances. So, you know, as, to me, that's problematic. But if you're a busy person, you can work anywhere. You know, you like being busy. It's like, oh, no problem. Okay. I mean, good, good, good atmosphere, bad atmosphere. I can get it done. Not an issue, you know. So in some ways, you, you, you get to learn how to enjoy, you know, the, the mountaintop and the valley. Um, but uh, one, of the, one of the other things is when you stay busy or, or, or when you're busy, you stay out of trouble. <laughs> you know, people who are busy, they don't have the time for shenanigans because, like I said before, you know, uh, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. Sometimes, like, a lot of people who are in, in, in problematic situations got too much time on their hands. Because, and they don't realize that they create problematic situations for them in the future. Normally, busy people are, tr are trying to be productive. So what they're doing is creating productive situations for their future. So this is the difference between you see people growing over time and you see people um, crumbling over time. It's because what, what did they put their time into? You know, and that's why I said, you know, uh, busy people are normally smarter because busy people are that's your environment is probably as probably around other busy people and you're going to talk you're going to share information you're going to open each other's minds up to new ways to work new ways to network new possibilities which you will start to schedule yourself into new frames because the other thing about that is busy people get introduced to a lot so you might you may have a longer list of hobbies than a person who is not busy. You you know, if something bores you, you might find a new passion, a new hobby, a new this and that. Because the idea of just being busy is just part of who you are. You know, let, let me try this. Let me see if I could do this. Because when you're busy, you, sometimes you get accustomed to that energy and you challenge yourself. You try new things, like even if you even if you love something, you want to you want to try something else. You know, you don't lounge as much. And you know, I got a I got a um, a great great aunt. Um, I think she's in her nineties now. She's starting to get Alzheimer's. Like when I say I think, because some people in my family are so old, you're not they're not gonna tell you their age. But I remember her telling me, you know, that all of her friends were dying and were going to die. And I was like, well, you know, but that's a part of life. And it's like, well, she knows she wasn't going to die because she stayed busy. All of them were get, got in rocking chairs and wanted to be old. So when they became old and wanted to, I'm old, now I'm going to act old, they become, you know, they started to die off because what old people do is die. And I also remember... It's um this old cop. When I first started working uh my job now, I would run into this old cop. And he was he was retiring, but he was working himself into retirement. What I mean by that is some of y'all don't know this. Say he was working five days a week, then four, then three, then two, then one, then retire because I asked him, I was like, Why are you doing it like that way? He was like, Well, all of my friends and co-workers who just decided one day that they was going to retire and then they just laid back and relaxed and chilled finally they died not too long afterwards so i'm gonna scale myself back and you know in days and i think what he wound up doing is every for every every time he went back got to zero days he replaced it with something you know what I'm saying? So he had a he had things he was interested in that was outside of that job, even though he was retiring. He had been there 30, 40 years. So, you know, he had been through the gamut of everything. But you have to, you know, to me it was it was ingenious because when when he got four days, you figure out what you're gonna do with that day. Three days, figure out what you're gonna do with them two days. 
two days, you know, figure out what you're going to do within three days. Four days, you know, figure out, you you know, so on and so forth. So, and I wouldn't be surprised if I go somewhere and run into him now and he's relaxing and kicking. Well, not relaxing, but if he's uh, looking younger than he was when he retired, i put it like that. Because there's things that, you know, busy people do. Like, I've seen people for the bulk of my life. You have people who uh, work horses and show horses. The work horses always last longer than the show horses. It is what it is. And that's sometimes the benefit of being a workhorse. You know, some people feel like they break down, but the thing about it is show horses break down before work, work horses because show horses are just there for show. They look good, but the minute you try, they try to do anything, they're done. It's kind of like a... a, 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 a a thoroughbred, that leg go, that's it. A workhorse, that leg go, wrap that sucker up. Couple couple weeks, they'll be back at it just with a little bit of a limp. You get what I'm saying? So, I think there's benefits to being busy, and I just stated something. We out. Peace.